What do you think are the most intriguing roster battles? Is cut down day is Tuesday at four o'clock? I would say Michael Dunn versus the two rookies is probably something that I'm looking at. And it's probably really only something that I've looked at probably over the last week. Um, because these guys are growing out there, they're getting it done. Plus, you're a guy like Andy Dickerson. You don't have much of a relationship with Michael Dunn, but these guys are maybe going to be your future. They're going to be your boys. So certainly you're pushing that there. I think wide receiver, you're done. I think running back, I think you're done. I think quarterback, we're done. Do they have three tight ends to keep? Do they maybe keep, you know, Zaire Mitchell Payton? Possibly. Um, you know, we know the five DNs are going to keep. We know the five D tackles are most likely going to keep. Um, linebacker, it kind of comes down to Devin Bush, Mahmoud Diabate, Tony Fields. You know, all those guys are battling for linebacker three, four, five. We'll see it works how it works out there. Um, DeAnthony Bell, I think, is in kind of a tough spot. He hasn't done anything all summer. He's going to be 28 in October. So, you know, whatever he is at this point is all he's ever going to be. Um, plus everybody, oh, well, he's a core special teamer. Yeah, but that does that count now? Because we've kind of changed the way special teams are being done. So guys that have hung their hat for years playing special teams, this really isn't the same system anymore. So those are some of the ones that I'm looking at, probably the way it's going to work in linebacker, probably that fifth, sixth cornerback battle. Are they going to keep the actual corners? Are they going to keep a guy like Hardy or Tony Brown, who are probably predominantly special teams guys? Those are the last battles to be had, unless you know the Browns don't get some guys back from injury, and which opens up a whole other point at Pandora's box.